Bonjour et bienvenue à Coffee Break French. Welcome back once again to Coffee Break French. In lesson 18, we're still in the restaurant, but this time we're learning to cope with particular situations that you may find yourself in. For example, trying to order food if you're a vegetarian or dealing with any other dietary requirements. You'll also be learning to complain and say that your food is cold or not well cooked or something like that. Hopefully, you won't need to use these phrases. I hope that you enjoy this lesson of Coffee Break French. Anna, what was the phrase I asked you there? Are you ready to begin? Est-ce que tu es prête? And you said, I'm ready? Oui, Marc, je suis prête. <laughs> okay, so prête is the word for ready, yeah? Yeah. What would I say? I wouldn't say prête. You would say prêt. I would say prêt, that's right. Now, prêt and prête both mean ready. They're both the same word. They're both adjectives. But they change because one is masculine and one is feminine. Let's take another example of this. For example, if I were French, I would say Je suis français. And you would say Je suis française. Exactly. There are two versions of the adjective then in the singular one for masculine and one for feminine. Français, française, prêt, prête. And indeed, many other French adjectives which have different forms in the masculine and the feminine. Now, we're going to be looking at a couple of adjectives tonight. And the first of these is the word for vegetarian. If you're visiting a restaurant, it's quite possible that you would be wanting to ask for vegetarian meals or indeed say that you are a vegetarian. And in French, the word for this, if you're male, is végétarien. 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 So, I would say, je suis végétarien. Je suis végétarien. Okay, so that's the masculine form. Now, it actually sounds very like a word that we've already learned for a particular nationality that ends in I-E-N, in that I sound, which would be Italien. Italien. And Italien means... Italian. Of course it does. So, I would say, je suis Italien. But Anna, you wouldn't say Italien. You would say... Italienne. Italienne. So, the sound at the end is Italienne, as opposed to Italien. Italien, Italienne. And exactly the same happens with végétarien and végétarienne. Végétarien. Végétarienne. Okay, so I would say, je suis végétarien. Anna, you would say? Je suis végétarienne. Très bien. So that's how you would say, I'm a vegetarian. And sometimes, rather than asking some kind of complicated sentence like, do you provide meals for vegetarians? Do you have a vegetarian menu or so on? You could simply say, I am a vegetarian. And... Hopefully, the restaurant would be able to explain to you that, yes, they do indeed have meals for vegetarians on their menu. So, je suis végétarien, if you're a male, and... Je suis végétarienne. If you're a female. Now, the word in French for vegan is very, very similar. It's not végétarien, but végétalien, with an L sound in there. Je suis végétalien. Je suis végétalien. Okay, and the feminine form would be Anna? Je suis végétalienne. Très bien, je suis végétalienne. Je suis végétalienne. So that's the word for vegan, végétalien, végétalienne, and the word for vegetarian, végétarien, végétarienne. Okay, now you may have specific dietary requirements. There might be things that you can eat or that you don't want to eat for whatever reason. The most straightforward way of saying this in French is to say, I don't eat, and then mention whichever food it is that you don't eat. So, I don't eat is a straightforward phrase because it's simply the negative of I eat. Anna, can you remember how you say I eat? 
Je mange. Très bien. Je mange. From the verb manger to eat. So, je mange. Je mange. So, Anna, if je mange means I eat, how would you say I don't eat? Je ne mange pas. Je ne mange pas. Très bien. Je ne mange pas. Je ne mange pas. Okay. Now, when you say you don't eat a particular food, you would say je ne mange pas de, and then whatever the food is. Je ne mange pas de... Je ne mange pas de... Let's imagine something that you've you've already learned. Um, you don't eat French fries. You don't eat chips. Je ne mange pas de frites. Je ne mange pas de frites. Okay, let's imagine the same thing, but this time you don't eat sandwiches. Je ne mange pas de sandwich. Très bien. Je ne mange pas de sandwich. Okay. Maybe a more realistic situation would be if you were to say, for example, I don't eat meat. Now, meat is la viande. La viande. La viande. La viande. So, how would you say, I don't eat meat? Je ne mange pas de viande. Excellent. And you remembered to say de. You don't actually say je ne mange pas la viande. You would say je ne mange pas de viande in this situation. Je ne mange pas de viande. Je ne mange pas de viande. Okay. Maybe you don't eat fish. If that's the case, you would say je ne mange pas de poisson. Je ne mange pas de poisson. Ok, le poisson is fish. Ok, je ne mange pas de poisson is I don't eat any fish. I don't eat fish. Je ne mange pas de poisson. Ok, now something else that you might not eat is seafood. And seafood in French becomes the fruits of the sea. Or the fruits of sea rather. Les fruits de mer. Les fruits de mer. Okay, it's quite tricky to say fruit. Fruit. Très bien. Les fruits de mer. Les fruits de mer. Okay, so if you want to say I don't eat seafood, you would say Je ne mange pas de fruits de mer. Je ne mange pas de fruits de mer. Je ne mange pas de fruits de mer. Très bien. Uh, maybe you don't eat pork. In that case, you would say, je ne mange pas de porc. 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 Okay, so these hopefully will give you some ideas as to how you can say that you don't eat a particular thing. One word that we've learned on a number of lessons so far is the whole idea of what you can and can't do. So... If you can eat something, you would use the phrase je peux, and then you would add in the word to eat, which is manger. So I can eat. Je peux manger. And how would you say I can't eat? Je ne peux pas manger. Je ne peux pas. What should you say peu? Because pu means something else. <laughs> <laughs> je ne peux pas. Je ne peux pas. Uh, just for an explanation here, puer is the verb to smell. So, je ne peux pas means I don't smell. So, it's quite important to get that correct. Je ne peux pas. Je ne peux pas. Okay. How would you say then, I can't eat meat? Je ne peux pas manger de viande. Je ne peux pas manger de viande. How would you say, I can't eat pork? Je ne peux pas manger de porc. Okay, so that's how you would say you can and can't eat something. You might want to be more specific, however, and say that you're allergic to something. In that case, you would say, I am allergic to, and whatever it is you're allergic to. So, for example, you might want to say that you're allergic to seafood. Je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. Can you try that, please?
Anna. Je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. Excellent. Je suis allergique. And that doesn't change regardless whether you're feminine or masculine. Je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. Je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. Or you may be allergic to nuts. Nuts are les noix. Les noix. So if you're allergic to nuts, you would say, je suis allergique aux noix. Je suis allergique aux noix. Oui, très bien. And maybe you're allergic to dairy products. In that case, you would say, je suis allergique aux produits laitiers. Je suis allergique aux produits laitiers. Ok, so if your particular allergy hasn't been covered there, then don't forget you can head over to the Radiolingua forum at www.radiolingua.com and you can ask us there about your dietary requirement or your allergy and we'll hopefully be able to help you with that. Now, this episode of Coffee Break French is all about dealing with certain situations that you may come across in a restaurant. So let's now think about some possible situations when your food arrives but is perhaps not as perfect as you'd like it to be. First of all, we'll cover the situation where your food is cold. This is very straightforward. You would simply say, C'est froid. C'est froid. C'est froid. C'est froid. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, c'est froid. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, c'est froid. Or perhaps the opposite extreme, that your plate arrives and on it is a, a burnt piece of meat or fish or whatever. It's burnt. You would say, c'est brûlé. C'est brûlé. C'est brûlé. C'est brûlé. And if you feel that your meat hasn't been cooked well enough, then you could say, it's not cooked. Now, the word for cooked is something that we've covered already. Can you remember how to say, it's well cooked? You want it well cooked or well done? Um, something like, c'est bien cuit? Yeah, bien cuit is the phrase for well done, as opposed to à point, meaning medium, or saignant, meaning rare. So, bien cuit means well done, literally well cooked. So, the word cuit on its own means cooked. So, to say something isn't cooked, you would say, ce n'est pas cuit. Ce n'est pas cuit. Okay, and you can work out how that sentence or that phrase is put together. C'est cuit, it's cooked. Ce n'est pas cuit, it's not cooked. Ce n'est pas cuit. Ce n'est pas cuit. Ce n'est pas cuit. Ce n'est pas cuit. But of course you may well be in the situation, in one of the millions of good French restaurants that there are, that your food is delicious, in which case you would simply say C'est délicieux. C'est délicieux. C'est délicieux. C'est délicieux. At the end of any meal in a restaurant, it's very likely that the waiter or waitress would come to you and say, Vous avez fini? Vous avez fini? Have you finished? And if you say yes, oui, then they may well ask, Ça a été? Ça a été? Now, that's actually three words. Ça a été? And it literally means, that has been... And it's kind of like the waiter saying that has been wanting you to say délicieux, of course. Ça a été, messieurs, dames. Uh, how was your meal? And you could say, ça a été délicieux. Ça a été délicieux. Ça a été délicieux. Ça a été délicieux. And if you really want to uh, go overboard here, you could say, mes compliments au chef. Mes compliments au chef. And what would that mean? 
And my compliments to the chef. Exactly. Mes compliments au chef. Mes compliments au chef. And if you wanted to turn it around and say our compliments to the chef, you would simply say nos compliments au chef. Nos compliments au chef. Okay, so that means our compliments to the chef. So hopefully all this vocabulary will help you deal with any situation you come across in a French restaurant. And to be perfectly honest, the most important thing in a French restaurant is that you enjoy your food and that you sample all the wonderful delicacies that the country and the restaurants have to offer. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break French. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break French community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakfrench and we're at Learn French on Twitter. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.